Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and welcome to my series on design for 3D printing. Contrary to popular belief, you cannot 3D print anything, at least not if you want a good part. You must design your part for 3D printing. In this series, I'll provide you with the tips and tricks for designing and printing the best possible part. I'll cover basic topics, as well as dive into engineering and manufacturing. In this part, I'm going to talk about pins and hooks. Recently, I was in a hurry and printed a bad part. I was on a deadline, so I needed to cut time to a minimum. This resulted in a very bad part. Here's what happened. I had a cardboard boat race to get to, and I needed a floaty for my GoPro head strap. I learned the expensive way a while back that GoPro head straps do not float. I wasn't going to make the same mistake again, so I did some math and designed a floaty that looks like this. Now, anytime you have hook or clamp shaped parts, you must prioritize structure. You cannot print strong pins that bend in more than one dimension. I thought the most important design feature was that my floaty floated. Only halfway through my print did I realize my mistake. I took a step back and realized that floating did not matter one bit if the float didn't stay attached to the head strap. This meant that my design priority changed from floating to attaching. I encourage you to always take a step back and consider what's required for your part to do its job and what actually might be the most important design consideration. My floaty did work, but that's only because I was extremely careful with it. These little pins snapped off easily after the fact uh, with some day-to-day -day handling. I printed the part horizontally to minimize support because the support would only be required right here in between the pin gap. I should have oriented the part this way so that the filament goes around the pins and carries the stresses better. However, with this orientation, support would have been required all in here, which would have taken a lot longer but it would have resulted in the ideal layout for this part. When I print it again, I will definitely print it this way. Hooks are very bad. The filament to filament bond between the layers is very weak compared to the filament itself. This is why any hook or clamp shaped object should be printed horizontally. Otherwise, it could easily just snap right off. Someone came in the other day with a key hook that they downloaded off the internet and I told them to go redesign it. And here's why. The quickest way to print it would be like this. No support required. However, these hooks would want to snap right here. And that kind of defeats the purpose of a hook because it's now just a peg. It should be oriented like this, but it requires a ton of support and is really not practical for a multi-hook unit. Parts like this should be made of multiple parts, each in their optimal orientation, and then assembled later. So in conclusion, Consider what your part must do, then take a step back and consider what it must do in order to do what it must do. Then arrange your design priorities and arrange your parts accordingly on the printer. Remember, a life jacket must float, but it must stay attached to you first. I'm Mike Thompson, coming to you from the OU Innovation Hub Fab Lab. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And what do you want to make?